So I think we can all agree that whether you offer a service, a product, or you're an artist, one of the best ways to promote your brand is to go on national television. In this video, I'm gonna give you three easy but proven ways to get on some of the biggest TV shows in the world. Here is the intriguing hypnotist slash mentalist slash magician known simply as Spidey. From Montreal, Canada, here's Spidey. See, put that song there. That was scary, Pretty good, buddy. Man. But thank you, that was amazing. Thanks. If I could tell you just by looking at you the name of your card, wouldn't that be like the greatest card you've ever seen in your life? We got Spidey. Hey guys, my name is Spidey, and we're gonna play a game called The Game with the Red Cards. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been on a bit of a hiatus lately because my winter tour has been kicking my butt, but I'm back and I'm back strong. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three tips that I've used consistently to get on some of the biggest TV shows and networks in the world. I'm also even gonna have a guest star who's gonna give you an extra bonus awesome tip. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. I'm gonna start this video off with a very difficult admission. This is something that's very hard for me to say out loud, but I think it's important for you to hear. Here it is. I'm not that talented. Now don't get me wrong, I've created some great mentalism, I have a lot of experience on stage, I present what I do well, but there's nothing about me that makes me stand up and above all the other mentalists in the world like, oh my God, that guy's so unique. I'm just good at what I do. Also, being a white straight male makes me part of the most common demographic in the world. But despite everything I just said, I've been on some of the biggest TV shows and networks in the world. And I'm not saying that to show off. I'm saying that because I want you to understand that talent and uniqueness is a very small part of the equation. I owe all my TV appearances, mostly to the three tips that we're gonna talk about today. So let's start with tip number one. So the first tip is really simple, but really important. Here it is. Have obsessive knowledge on every show in the world who can accommodate exactly what you do. Here's what I mean. As an English speaking mentalist, I'm very aware and I'm always researching shows that can accommodate exactly what I do. Everything from talk shows to competition shows to magic specific shows to psychology shows. And I'm always looking up how to get in touch with their production team and or how to audition for that show. So let's say for example that you are a singer songwriter. Well, we have at the top all the big boys, talk shows uh, and big competition shows, American Idol, The Voice, uh, America's Got Talent. But then think more specific. Do you maybe speak a different language like German? Go to Germany's Got Talent. Also locally, what shows can accommodate what you do? Talk shows, news shows, everything. Look it up and be obsessed with constantly knowing how to get in touch with them and how to get them to know who you are. Know the shows that can accommodate you. The second tip is the specific reason that I got to stand next to Steve Harvey on Showtime at the Apollo on Fox and be seen by tens of millions of people. Here it is, super important, be a yes man. Let me tell you something about producers. Producers are constantly overwhelmed. They always have to fill out segments. They are competing in a social media world and the most comforting answer they could possibly hear is yes. When they ask you a question, all they wanna hear is yes. Not yes but, not maybe, not let me think about it, yes. When I got the call from Apollo, they kept asking me, can you do this, can you do that, can you modify this, can you send us a video of that? And my answer was always yes, yes, yes. And I always had it. Say yes, then figure out how you can do it. It's so important to make their life easy, that way you facilitate the process for you to be on their TV show. Finally, here is the third and most important tip. I can't stress this enough. Here it is. Network within your own industry. Make sure that people in your industry know who you are and what you do. Let me explain something. Right now, there are countless people who do more or less what you do and they're trying to advance their career and they're trying to get on TV shows as well. And throughout their journey, they're gonna make contacts, they might sometimes have to refer someone or they might need to recruit more people. So it is in your best interest for people who do what you do or similar things to know who you are. Let me give you an example. Within the magic community, I have a pretty good reputation as someone who knows his mentalism really well. So when a Netflix production called Andre Jick, who's a very good friend of mine who specializes in cardistry and has a great YouTube channel all about finance, I'll leave a link in the description. They said to him that they were producing a new show on Netflix and they needed someone who specializes in psychological magic. Andre gave them my phone number 
They called me and a Skype call later, I was confirmed. There wasn't an audition process. I didn't have to jump through hoops. Because I was referred from someone that they trusted, they immediately hired me to be on a Netflix original. Do you have any idea how huge that is? So what I'm saying is, get in touch with people within your own industry, go to conventions, reach out on social media, make friends in your industry because they might get a really big opportunity before you do and they might refer you or bring you in on it. And here's the thing, don't use anyone. I'm saying make actual good friends in your industry. Andre is actually one of my closest friends and because of him, I got one of the biggest career opportunities I've ever had. So network within your own industry. Finally, best for last, I have one more bonus tip for you guys from a very special guest who is one of the heaviest hitters, if not the heaviest hitter, uh, when it comes to TV appearances within my industry, which is magic and mentalism. Uh, and his name is Oz Perlman. Now for the very few of you who don't know who Oz Perlman is, he is one of the most accomplished mentalists in the world. Uh, the guy was a finalist on America's Got Talent. He was recently on America's Got Talent Champions. He has an Emmy for his NBC special, Oz Knows. He was on Fallon, he was on the Today Show about seven billion times and countless other TV appearances. The guy knows what he's doing when it comes to television and I asked him to submit his number one top tip for getting on television for you guys. So here it is, Oz Perlman. Spidey, I love the tips that you're giving everyone on getting on TV. Here's another one to think about. Be relevant, be topical. Let's say something's coming up, Valentine's Day. Think like a producer. What content do they want? They're trying to fill hours too. Think of something like how do husbands or boyfriends read their girlfriend's minds? Any holiday, any event that's coming up, be all about current events and give them things that will help them. Think benefits oriented for the person you're pitching to. Don't think about how great you are. Think about how great you're gonna make them look. All right guys, so there it was, four awesome tips to get you and your brand on television right now. So let me know in the comments which of these tips was the most helpful for you and which one you see yourself using as of today. Always remember please to like the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't and I'll see you guys on the next one.